So we're really happy at MakerBot to be launching some new products. Um, our products are ranging from uh, software, hardware, and materials. We look at an entire uh, connected experience at MakerBot. So we look at the entire experience of either an educator or a professional. What we have today or launched here at TCT is our new uh, MakerBot Replicator Plus, our new uh, MakerBot Mini Plus as platforms, but we also have some new software, MakerBot Print, an entirely new uh, software experience to prepare you for print, and also some new materials out there like uh, Tough PLA, specifically for the professionals to help them really sort of iterate and optimize product development. So it's an entirely new product. It's been redesigned from the ground up. What we spent the last year and a bit doing at MakerBot is really uh, refocusing our attention around our customers and understanding what the, those needs are. What we came up with is that we have two distinctive groups. We have an educational group and we have a professional group. And so what we did is really tailor solutions around those audiences. So for the professional, uh, the key was how can you iterate and bring a, a product to life as quickly as possible? How can you bring uh, ideas in the making is what we're talking about. How can we bring ideas to light as quickly as possible? So we worked around a more seamless experience in the software space. So today, as a professional, you can literally take a SolidWorks file as an example and directly print it. We work with 20 different native CAD files, which is exciting. And then the printer itself was completely redesigned the ground up, uh, a new gantry, new Z stage, new build plates, flexible tray so the parts can just snap off, no more blue tape, and then materials, which is key to professionals, so we're, we're bringing on board a tough PLA. And all that experience is also with the Smart Extruder Plus, so we have a, a, a proven uh, extruder uh, technology there. So that's for the professional. For the educational, uh, we're offering the Mini Plus, um, you know, larger build size, uh, much quieter experience, the 60% quieter, because that was a big issue with uh, many of our educators and also a very, very easy to use um, first run experience. So you can literally unbox and have the printer run within less than five minutes. But also really important for the educators was content. So teachers were coming up and saying, you know, we need to have lesson plans to understand how to make use of these printers in the classroom. And so what we're offering as part of Thingiverse is Thingiverse Education, which is an entirely new sector section in Thingiverse, which are entire lesson plans. So not just the part, but a lesson plan explaining the purpose of the class and what class, what grade, uh, how is it tied into uh, in terms of grades and scoring. And so we have over 100 lesson plans uh, that we're offering as part of this launch. So that's tailored to the education. We have this continual drive to lead uh, the educational space. We have printers in over 5,000 schools in the US alone. And the Samsung move was to further enhance. You know, it's really, really interesting. You know, the, the kids of today are basically learning uh, skill sets that are believed to be uh, less relevant in the future to come. There's a lot of talk about, you know, what are you, how can you prepare the future generation? Uh, and so we think that with a MakerBot experience, with a 3D printing experience in a classroom, you have very, very strong foundations because basically you're seeing kids learn through failure, succeed through error. These are really important skill sets for anyone in any profession, any profession, whether you're an engineer, a, medic, a, a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, the ability to learn through your mistakes, optimize your solution, this is all possible with the ability to have a desktop 3D printer in a classroom. So we're very excited to bring uh, that further on board and the Samsung partnership was a big success for us in that front. So I've been with MakerBot a year, just over a year now, but I've been with Stratasys for over 10 years. And so what I sort of bring to the equation is uh, the professional mindset. So definitely we're tapping into that, we're tapping into Stratasys, we're tapping into Stratasys resources, uh, the software launch that we did uh, just last week was in collaboration also with GrabCAD, which is part of the Stratasys group. The materials that we launched, the Tough PLA that we launched, is in collaboration with Stratasys uh, Advanced Manufacturing Center. And yeah, you know, as, as, we, as we progress, we're going to take an angle which is uh, tailored to the professional, because I think the value proposition there is really interesting. You can have an engineer have a desktop 3D printer beside him or her. I mean, you have the you know you have the CAD software. That's that's uh, quite a hefty price. You got all the equipment there. Literally having a desktop 3D printer bes beside the engineer and beside the uh, designer has tremendous value proposition. And of course, also in the educational space where we see a big place. So we're very much focused towards professional and towards educational. But what has changed with MakerBot recently is you know if we had the product at the center and then we had all these uh, feature sets that were tapped into the product. Now very much the customer is at the center 
and we built solutions around the customers. So the launch of last week was again, it's not just a hardware launch, it's important to reiterate that, it's, it's really an overall packaging to tailor an educator and tailor a professional, whether it's software, hardware, or materials, and that's what we've done.